Hello everyone, welcome to another Photo P tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about some of the tools over on the left side, starting at the top with some selection tools and then showing you some fun things like clone stamp in which we remove pimples and things like that from a photograph. So let's just start at the top. In the top left we have the move tool and I know that I've brought this up in previous tutorials, but it's a really important tool. I'm going to zoom in on my picture a little bit um, so you can get a little a different view, a closer view when I make some changes. Um, so if we go out to a 12, um, what you'll see is if I click on the, with the move tool and I drag out, I can move my picture around. Now this doesn't really do much for me. When I get into making selections and being really specific, the move tool is gonna come in a lot more handy. But right now, you know, that's really the only thing I can do is move the whole image out of the background at, at once. So below that, we have a couple of selection tools. The next basic three tools going down from the move tool, one, two, three, all involve in making selections in the piece. And I'm gonna zoom in again to a 13 there so we could see a little bit better. Okay, and I'm gonna hide my navigator so it's out of the way. And we're gonna start with a marquee tool, which is uh, the rectangle selection tool and ellipse tool. And basically these allow you to make selections of those shapes and sizes, right? Um, so what actually happened is I, I was still selected on my move tool and I'm gonna hit command Z, which is a step backward. So edit, step backward, see that command Z. And I didn't make sure that I didn't, I didn't select on my tool. So I'm gonna draw with my rectangle selection tool. And if I wanna make a change uh, to my photo, it'll only change something in that area now. So I'm gonna go to image adjustments, levels, right, just to use levels. Photo P paused for a moment there. And I'm gonna pull over my shadows and you'll see it's just getting darker in that area. Let's say I wanna do that, I can hit okay. And let's suggest that you wanted to actually duplicate this area that you just created. If I go back to my move tool and I hit alt option and I click in this area, so alt option and click, I can duplicate something that I have just selected and carry it over into another area of the piece. But I don't wanna do that, so I'm gonna go to edit, step backward or command Z. I'm gonna hit command Z again to get rid of the levels changes I did. And that again, just makes selection of a, of a square rectangular area. I'm gonna hit command D or select, deselect command D, see the shortcut there. So I'm gonna deselect to get rid of that. I'm gonna show you just the ellipse tool. I'm gonna to click on that. I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag and you can see that I can do an oval, a circular shape to make a selection. If I hold shift, it'll stay as a, a perfect circle as I drag out, right? So same idea, I just selected within this area and I can make changes there. So for instance, I could you know, go to the move tool and cut it out, but that's not what I wanna do. So I'm gonna hit command Z to back up and I'm gonna hit command Z again to get rid of that selection. Moving down to the lasso tool. You know, I have three different types of lasso tools. I'm gonna to show you each of those. The first lasso tool, I'm gonna to click on that, just allows you to click and drag and draw in an area, okay? So I could like drag around all around my, my form here, my crazy person wearing a mask doing a crazy dance move, and I'm not doing a very good job of, of selecting around there. I hope if you were trying to select something, you do a little bit better of a job. I'm gonna show you some other ways to select in a second. Um, so if I were to go to image adjustments threshold, for instance, only in that area would the threshold happen. And I want you to pay close attention to the line here. So I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna hit command D to get rid of the selection lines. And you see it's a very hard edged line that's selected. I'm gonna hit command Z to bring that back. And I'm gonna hit command Z again to get rid of the threshold. And I'm gonna go to select and I'm gonna go to modify feather. And I'm gonna feather it to be about a 15 pixels. And that's PX for pixels. So that's how many pixels it's feathering away from or uh, with regards to this line. So I'm gonna hit okay. And you'll notice that it did smooth out a little bit. And I'm gonna go to image adjustments threshold again. And you can see, I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm gonna hit command D to get rid of the selection. See how it slowly fades out of the threshold? it's not an abrupt line like it was before, right? So if you wanna select something, you can go to uh, select and modify that selection, feather it to 
um, smooth out that selection in that way. I'm going to Command Z to back up, Command Z again, and Command D to deselect. So I'm going to go back to the lasso tool. I'm going to show you the other ones. Polygonal um, allows you to do straight lines. So if I click and click and click and click and click and click, it does straight lines, and that's it. That's all it lets me do. Um, Command D to deselect. And then the magnetic one, which is under that, the magnetic lasso tool, what it does is it grabs onto the edges of where uh, pixels change their color. So if I start their values and, and whatnot. So if I click here and I start to drag, it knows that I'm trying to drag along this line. And you'll see, you can kind of see there how even though I'm not being perfect, it's kind of hugging that. It grabbed the ear there, but it hugs that area, right? So it does a much cleaner selection. So if now if I go to make changes, let's say I want to make it, I want to give this a tint. I'm going to go to uh, image adjustments and I'm going to do gradient map. And I'm going to click on the, uh, let's just do this one. And you'll see, notice it made it yellow with some blues and reds in there, right? Based on the values. So starting with highlights of yellow moving towards darks into the blue. So it selects really nicely and made and added a color into my mask. I'm going to hit OK. I don't actually want to do that, so I'm going to just hit Command Z. Command Z again to deselect. Okay. Moving below that, another selection tool we have is the Object Selection cool Tool, Quick Selection Tool, and the Magic Wand. I'm going to start with the Magic Wand. And what it does is, I'm right now I'm set at a 20 tolerance, which is really important up here. I'm going to click on the mask, and you see it almost selected the entire mask. Okay, I'm going to hit Command D to get rid of that. I'm going to lower the tolerance to 10. Now I'm going to click again. And it did less of it. It selected less of it. I'm going to go to five now. Command D. Command D over here. I'm going to select. And you'll see how small of a selection. What that tolerance is, it's the range of pixels um, and variation of the pixel that I, I just clicked on. So it'll select a certain amount of, of pixels as long as they stay within a certain tolerance of the first one I clicked on. Okay, so I'm going to hit Command D, and I'm going to go to, like, let's try 75, and I am going to, oop, it didn't seem to set. I'm going to do that again. Let's click it again. Notice how 75 actually was the perfect selection tolerance for this mask. I didn't even get any of the ear, right? So that works really great. Now, um, let's suggest that what I want to actually do, I'm going to hit Command D, is select her whole form, but I want to do a better job than I was doing with my lasso tool. I'm going to go to the quick selection tool. And what it does is it allows me to draw within, kind of like paint, a selection. So I'm going to start clicking. And if I paint, see how it, it just grabbed all of that black space because it just framed around it. But if I click and I keep dragging into the hand, see how it got the hand, right? And you can paint and draw with your selection. Now, when you get into some certain areas, um, it's going to be uh, hit or miss. Notice how it grabbed this part of the background, which I don't want. And I'm going to show you how to make changes to that. So something I, I could do is I could use my magic wand and, and add or subtract. But I'm going to use the lasso tool. I'm going to show you some cool things. So if I hold shift, I can add a selection area. So I'm going to hold shift while I'm on the lasso tool. And I'm going to draw here because notice I didn't get the knee. So I'm going to draw around and select the rest of the knee and see how it's it picked that up. And I'm going to add the foot. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to draw around the foot. Right? And it's adding the foot. Now, over here, I didn't want this. And instead of holding shift and drawing, I'm going to hit alt option, which actually will subtract a selection area. So I'm going to draw around that come back to where I was, and you'll see it remove that from the selection. So now I've pretty much, you know, moved this person, or I've selected this person. Um, you know, I, I don't have the shoe. I could do that. I can add the hand. I, uh, I haven't done that yet. And I could go to, like, my move tool now. I could make changes in image adjustments, or I could do something fun, um, hold uh, alt option, and I could add another one of these people into my shot.
right? But that's not what I wanted to do. Um, so I can hit Command Z and go back, hit Command D to deselect. So those are some of your selection tools that are fun to play around with. Of course, below that is the crop tool where you can crop your image down to different sizes, hit enter, and it crops it down right to the size that you want to use. But now what I want to show you are some other tools, the spot healing brush, which looks like a Band-Aid, and the clone stamp tool, which looks like, like a stamp, like a clone, like a, a some sort of stamp that you would use on, on paper. And I'm going to use a different image to, to show you this. So I'm going to pull in a different image of someone with a pimple. And let's suppose that I wanted to get rid of this pimple, okay? I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna show you first the clone stamp tool, um, which again, uh, kind of like the quick selection I brought up a little bit ago, is a brush. So it has a circular element to it right away. And I can go over here and I can make changes to my brush. So one of the first things I can I can do is change the size. I can make it larger. So see how much larger it became? There's a lot of different types of brushes that you can actually choose from that are not circles. And then I can also change the softness or hardness of the brush as well. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna show you, um, I'm just gonna go to the paintbrush really quick and I wanna show you the difference in brush sizes So or in hardness. So let's, over here I'm gonna paint with white and see how that's a really hard edged uh, painting. The the circle is very, it's like a line all the way around it. So I'm going to go to soften that up a little bit. I'm going to go to like, you know, close to 50. And now I'm going to click and see how much softer it is. It doesn't have that hard edge. It fades out at the edges. I'm going to go to like zero and do it again. And it's even more faded. Okay. So I'm going to hit command Z, command Z, command Z to get rid of that. What I want to do is get cover up this pimple. So I'm going to go back to my clone stamp tool. I'm going to select a size that is pretty similar, a little bit larger than the actual pimple, which this is pretty perfect, just so it encompasses the whole pimple with inside of it. And I want to soften that brush up a little bit just because I don't like hard edges in my, in my brushes. And what I have to do is I have to select an area to clone. So I go to this area. I'm going to select some skin that doesn't have a pimple. I'm going to hold Alt Option. You're going to see this turn into um, basically it's going to turn into a plus sign. See that? Selects that area. And now when I come and I draw over here, I'm clicking down and I'm painting. It clones the area that I selected. I don't know if you saw that, but you can see the little X that shows up on the left side. That's what it's cloning. So let's like hypothetically say I wanted to add another mouth. I could come up here, hold my Alt Option, click on that area, come down here and start painting up and down to actually paint in another mouth. And the really cool thing is that because this is like actually this person's mouth, it looks really natural on, on that skin, right? So there's a lot of fun things you can do with the clone stamp tool, but uh, the main use is to get rid of things that you don't want in the image anymore. I'm gonna command Z to get rid of that. And I'm gonna back up again until I bring my pimple back to show you that you can also do that with the spot healing brush. And again, same kind of application. You wanna fix things. Same way as we worked before with the clone stamp tool, I want to make the size um, just fit around that area really well. I'm gonna soften it up a little bit. This is a little bit easier though. I don't really need to do anything. I just need to come over it and I'm going to click. And what it does is you see that red line around it. It's pulling all the pixels kind of around to mix them together to paint in that area. So you can kind of see, it looks like there was still like a blemish there, but I'm going to click again. And the more that I kind of click and do that, the more it kind of fades it away. So those are some of your selection tools and some fun tools like the uh, spot healing br uh, brush and the clone stamp tool as well. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time for some, some pointers about some of the tools here below. Cheers.